Hi, I'm Congressman Anthony Brown. Hey, I'm Congressman Anthony Brown. I'm here today in Upper Marlboro. I'm Congressman Anthony Brown. I'm here at the Little Smiling Faces Daycare Center, Child Care Center. Hi, I'm Congressman Anthony Brown, and today I'm at St. Joseph Station 806, which is part of the Prince George's County Fire and EMS Department. Hi, I'm Congressman Anthony Brown. I'm here at the Kenmore, Kenmore Middle School, where I was helping volunteers and school staff in the food service department uh, put together uh, lunches and snacks uh, and breakfast for uh, nearly 300 students who will be coming through one of these grab-and-go locations here in Prince George's County. I'm Congressman Anthony Brown. I'm here with from Joint Base Andrews, and uh, I got my shot a while ago, but I'm here in Greenbelt at the FEMA run and Air Force and other service supported uh, mass vaccination site, encouraging everyone to get vaccinated. Uh, it's the right thing to do, it's the safe thing to do, uh, and it's gonna save you and your family and your community. It's a patriotic thing to do. As we work together to slow the spread of the coronavirus in our communities, we've seen story after story of what makes our state and this country strong. Volunteers donating their precious time and energy and even money to causes big and small, not for recognition, but to change things for the better. The coronavirus pandemic has upended many of our daily routines and has changed our lives in profound ways. Parents are educating their kids at home, working families are worried about putting food on the table, local businesses are shuttered, doctors and nurses face unprecedented obstacles, and our seniors and vulnerable neighbors face isolation and other difficulties as they keep themselves safe from this virus. The challenges we face are significant, but Marylanders have responded with inspiring acts of volunteerism and generosity. We've seen people stepping up to ensure that our kids are fed and have access to the education materials they need to stay ahead. We've seen overwhelming support to our community food banks to ease the minds of families in need. Communities have rallied around their local businesses to keep them open. Individuals are donating critical medical supplies to our frontline medical workers. And neighbors are helping the most vulnerable among us, delivering groceries and providing support to those who may feel isolated. Each act of kindness builds on the other, strengthening our communities and helping us to emerge from this crisis. In the days and weeks ahead, we'll need more of that spirit. We'll get through this difficult time together, and I'll be alongside you every step of the way. Counted for a quorum, a quorum is present. The motion is adopted.